Hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you're back, welcome back. Today I have a small shop haul and happy meal video to share with all of you guys. So in these videos on my channel, I just like to take a chance to share with you all um, some of my orders that have come in from various small shops in the community. And if I've gotten any mail in from viewers or from small shops that have sent me something <laughs> that I haven't had the chance to actually purchase from. So a huge thank you to those. Um, I try to do these videos fairly regularly, uh, but sometimes I get a little bit of a backlog like I have today. So this this is not all that I have. So if I've ordered from your small shop and you don't see um, what I've ordered from you here, I will try to do another small shop haul soon with the rest of my orders and check my PO box and whatnot as well, because I haven't been there in a minute. But um, just so you know, I'm going to link to all of these various small shops below, as well as their various social media accounts, like if they have a Facebook group or an Instagram, um, be sure to follow along with them. Even if you're not looking to necessarily make an order right away, just favoriting a shop or joining a Facebook group or following them on Instagram is a really good way to support small shops in the community. And you guys, a lot of small shops are struggling right now. So any support and love that we can send their way, let's do that. So um, I also wanted to let you know that if you own a small shop or know of a small shop that you haven't seen me try out, um, I would be more than happy to place an order. Feel free to leave a comment below or send me a message on Instagram or into my um, email. And share that suggestion. I'll, I'd be happy to take a look. And if anything catches my eye, I will pick it up or at least favorite their shop and follow along. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into what I have to share with you all today. So first I'm going to show you the box that's already open. <laughs> so what I have over here is actually, um, from Muni Made and Muni Made makes 3d printed trays along with some other really beautiful handcrafted goods. And she sent over these, well, I purchased these actually these summer with the masters trays. So, um, Muni Unicorny over there, <laughs> the owner of the shop was so kind when, um, I reached out to her, maybe she reached out to me. and was like, what, how fun would it be to do a curated set, um, that had to do with an event that you're hosting. I was like, that would be so amazing. So I knew a summer with the masters coming up, that would be so fun. So, um, we talked for a while. I sent her some different artwork for inspiration. And ultimately this is what we ended up coming up with. So there's a large tray set and a small tray set. You can see that there are just slight variations in the really pretty floral print that's on the underside of the tray uh, lids. The lids are in a really beautiful sparkly, I think ruby red is the name of this filament, which is available in their shop. And then the trays themselves are in this shiny gold filament that is not yet available to purchase separately in the shop, but um, they launched with uh, this particular curated set. And then it has hashtag SWTM 2022 and a paintbrush on the side. And of course the Muni made M on the bottom. And then they also come with these stoppers, which I have the stopper for this one elsewhere. Um, but this is a clear stopper until you put it under some kind of UV light, whether that's outside, outside or some kind of UV charger inside. And then it changes to a, um, like a really not faded, but almost like a faded blue color. Um, and is just a really nice look with the rest of these. Honestly, these trays and these colors also give me Beauty and the Beast vibes. So yay. Um, I opened up this box because I wanted to be able to use these trays immediately for Summer with the Masters. These are part of the July curated set. Um, and so they'll only be stocked in the shop during the month of July. And they are unfortunately selling out extremely quickly. Most of the curated sets usually do. I recommend following Muni Made on Twitter. Uh, that's where she posts shop updates. Also follow her on Facebook because she often does giveaways there and she has a YouTube channel as well. And she actually like, she just gave away a set of these in her, um, her weekly podcast on her channel as well. So, um, I'll link to all the things below. Thank you so much to Muni Made for, uh, creating and collabing with us to make these super, super appreciate you. Now, um, she went ahead and shipped it together with this set, which I had picked up. I saw her post on Twitter that I don't know if there was a cancellation or she just randomly had a spare set of the June, um, curated set, which was also for an event. Actually the event that my friend Lindsay was involved in hosting the princess along. And you guys, I love a pretty curated set and I love the pink so much. <laughs> so it's a pink tray. And then, um, is this a champagne? What's the name of this one? 
I can't remember. I want to, I'm like champagne toast, but I'm pretty sure that's a Bath and Body Works scent. But I love the sparkly, shimmery lid. And then we have, I don't remember the names of these. Is this blush? And then we have this lighter pink stopper. So yay, I'm really glad I was able to snag this one. Again, this was from following her on Twitter. And I just had notifications turned on and she put up a post that was like, hey, I actually have an extra June curated set. Go hop over to the shop. Whoever gets it, you know, gets it first and, and snags it. So I was really thankful that I was able to, to snag that because I had missed out on it. Like I said, these curated sets sell so darn fast so yay for monthly curated sets um okay so thanks so much Mini Maid, for making such amazing trays they really are some of my very very favorites um there's a lot of really wonderful tray companies out there and i highly recommend that you try out different ones to see what you like and even if you end up having one that you find yourself wanting to go back to often don't be afraid to try out other small shops as well because um sometimes shops will come up with these really unique and innovative ideas for trays and you'll find yourself um, um, uh, really enjoying something that another shop is doing. Case in point is actually this one that I'm about to get into here. Uh, so this was sent over from Nessie Prince 3D. Is that Nessie 3D Prints? Yeah, no, Nessie Prints 3D. Um, I unboxed a package from them on my channel in a small shop haul a few weeks back, maybe a couple months back now. And um, it unfortunately, the... <laughs> The post office was really, really cruel to that package. I've never had a package damage like that before. It was not because of poor packaging. They packaged it extremely well. It was just the post office. So I think that they sent me over some makeup goodies. Let's take a look real quick. Um, yes, so I saw in your video that some items are broken. I sent a replacement for the base of the washi tape stand and glued on, okay. Um, oh, <laughs> no worries at all, Jessica. No worries whatsoever. It's not a problem at all. So, oh my gosh, I love their cute little trash cans. So these are little like drill trash, trash cans. And I like these because there's a spot to pop um, your diamonds into, but then if you were to tip it over, it's not like a bunch are gonna come flying out, but then you just pop it open to empty it. I like that really dark purple color too. That's really pretty. And then obviously this one arrived completely safely. So yes, one of the things that had gone missing was I had gotten a washi tape stand. I'll have to um, grab it. I'll show it to you guys in my next whip and chat. But the base had broken off. That was one of the things that I think got destroyed or lost in post. So um, thank you so much for sending this over. I have some like super glue. I think some E6000 also would probably work. I will glue it together and I'll get to set it up and put some of my favorite washi on it. And thank you for the gift of this pretty little trash can. Like I said, I love little trash collectors to have nearby <laughs> for my drills so thank you so much Jessica again that was Nessie Prince 3D I used one of their trays the first one that I had ordered a little while back and actually really 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 enjoyed using it it was so fun again to try out a new to me tray um, and to see again like they they were doing something really different than I've seen a lot of shops doing so yay okay this next package I have to be honest I feel terrible. I don't remember what is in here. And so I'm not sure if this was um, a gift that was sent over or something that I ordered. It doesn't have a shop name on the front. It has a person's name. So I'm going to open this one next and find out what's in here. So my memory is so terrible. Ooh, let me check my invoice in this card. That would probably be most helpful. So, oh yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Okay. So this is a new kind of diamond painting wax or putty that um, a creator just released. I'm gonna tell you all about it in just a second, but first they included a card with my name on it. So it's just a thank you note. Ooh, oh yes, here we go. So a note with thank you so much for your order. I hope you are, enjoy our brand new Ribbit Stick It diamond painting putty. So yes, I'm really excited to try this. This is Crashly, Crafts with Crashly. Look at that cute branding. She has a YouTube channel and now has an Etsy. Actually, I think she's had an Etsy shop for a while, but this product is brand new. <laughs> so there's all of their socials. I will link to Ashley's info below. But I love supporting fellow creators um, and of course different and new small shops in the community, especially, sorry, I'm cracking up at some of these stickers. I love collecting little stickers too. Um, I love trying out new products as well. I think that is so fun. Now they included, it looks like a little envelope of release papers. Was this a bonus? 
This might have been a bonus for like their launch of this new product. Oh, that's fun. It's got her print on the side and then this side is the side that goes down because it's release paper. Cute. And then there's the Ribbit Stick It instructions and this is a minder over on the side. That's actually really cute. So I'll be sure to read these. I'm gonna use this in my next whip and chat um, so that I can see what that is like. You guys, I'm excited. So here's how it was packaged. I get a little bonus roll of washi tape. Thank you, Ashley. And then I'll save that. Let's take a look. I like all the cute branding. Oh my gosh. Klutzy, just ignore me. Okay. So these are, are these, yeah, these are minders, you guys. <laughs> I love the cute little frog. Uh, ribbit stick it. Cute. So strawberries and cream and vanilla shortbread. And they're on minders, which is handy. Let's take a, a sniff here. Ooh, that smells really, really good. And so I bet you just like pinch some of it off and then roll it. So I could even pop this whole thing out. I think, ooh, that's sticky. I wonder how it reacts to different climates because you guys know heat is summer. We're all, we're all dying of heat right now. <laughs> and then this one is um, the strawberries and cream. Oh, it's pink. That smells so good. Okay, so especially if your putty is wanting to get like stringy or sticky or anything like that, you can try popping it in the freezer. Well, okay, this is the case with some other putty. Like I'm gonna get into some other putty in just a second. I'll explain when I get to that one. But yay for a new putty shop. I have not checked in recently to see like, does she still have any in stock? Has she sold out? I, I'm not sure, but I will be sure to link to all of her stuff below. Go and check her out if you wanna try out a new product so all right uh and best of luck with your lunch again crashly and i'm glad i was able to snag some this next order is from randa's crafty corner and um i don't even remember everything that's in here because i feel so terrible this has been sitting for over a month at this point because like i said i just fell so incredibly behind so let's see what all they order okay some putty and a cute minder it looks like now this was i should let her know that this was like open um when i got it like the the tape didn't seal all the way so we'll make sure nothing is missing some cute stickers and then she includes instructions for how to use her putty rand has been around for a little while now and i do like um her putty a lot uh so here yeah this is what i was starting to mention earlier at least with her putty um, ex uh, extreme temperature can affect the texture of the putty. If it's too hard or if it's starting to melt, you can either put it in the fridge for a few minutes to harden it back up, or you can hold it under your arm to warm it up and soften the putty. Um, so that's something I'm gonna try if, because it is so hot, because we're in the middle of July right now and um, things are just hotter than usual. Um, and some candy. Um, I may try just popping it in the refrigerator to help kind of like reset it. So anyway, this was a minder that I picked up. I actually let my son Connor help me pick this out. I was like, okay, buddy, which dinosaur minder should I get? He's like, it's holding a strawberry. Let's get the blue one. Cause she had a couple. And I'm pretty sure I ordered another one from her in my most recent order. And I'm pretty sure I helped, had Connor help me pick it out. And I'm pretty sure he picked this one again. So <laughs> maybe there'll be a giveaway soon. Ooh, let me see. I think I'm supposed to have three things of putty. Okay, there are two right here. So I've been hearing people rant and rave, no, like in a good way, like rave about the watermelon scent and how amazing it is. Is it watermelon that everyone's talking about? I don't have this one, it's summer, watermelon is summer, let's smell. Okay, I wanna eat that, that smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. <laughs> that smells amazing. And then Elder Wand, which I'm pretty sure she created this one um, as part of a collab with the Harry Potter diamond paint along that's going on. Ooh, interesting. What is that smell? It's really masculine. Like it smells like cologne or something like that. So I just told her, I'm like, I'm gonna need you to like make a checklist of your different scents so that I stop buying duplicates. <laughs> and then s'mores. I love and, and am obsessed with absolutely anything s'mores related. Absolutely obsessed, can't get enough. So when I saw she was getting a s'more scent, I was like, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like marshmallow and campfire and, and s'mores. Like there's chocolate and graham cracker in there too. Yay, thank you so much, Randa, for always releasing more scents and other goodies. And you guys, I'm telling you what, I may have multiple putties, but I'm 
I'm always gonna kind of go back and forth between them because I love supporting different small shops and sometimes you kind of forget, like you get so used to using one and you're like, uh, you forget that like, oh, I should branch out. Maybe I'll just be in the mood to try something else. But anyway, yay, thanks, Randa. Next up, this is an order from Galloway's Gallery. Galloway's Gallery makes cover minders, which you can use with diamond painting, you can use to hold back the plastic cover. She always packs them in fabric bags and packs them with lots of care. She has a really, really large selection on her website. She used to be on Etsy, but now she has her own website. I think it's through Shopify, um, but I'll link to it below. And again, it's been a little while since I ordered, so I don't even remember everything that's in here. Um, but I, I have quite a lot of minders from, from her just because, like I said, she's been around for a while and has such a wide selection. So let's take a look, because I am not remembering what all is in here. How long ago was this order? It's really, I appreciate how she, she packs it with such care, that's for sure. All right, here we go. Oh, I love it. Okay, so here are the ones that I picked up this time. I love, love, love the gingerbread dragon. I know it's not Christmas yet, but it's not too early to stop shopping. Emotionally attached to fictional characters because, I mean, I think it's fairly self-explanatory. <laughs> I love the foxes, especially because I like that it's like a mama fox and then like a blue fox, which I just think that's like, oh, it's me and Connor. This is a freebie. So thank you so much for the freebie. Jeanette is her name. And then I just love the galaxy kitty with the ombre effect. We got a pink drink here with a little unicorn horn. I am a Ravenclaw always and forever. And she has these different adorable minders for each house with the cute animals. And then I'm obsessed with the movie Up. Do I have a diamond painting related to the movie Up? Nope, but I still have lots of minders related to it. And I thought this was so pretty. And then I like the pile of rainbow kitties. So I love my minder order. A lot of these she still does have in stock. So you can go and take a look if you like. Um, but yay, thanks Galloway's Gallery for some adorable minders as always. Now. What I have next for you guys is pens. And a couple of these are from new to me shops. And I'm, oh wait, hold on. I have one more thing that's not pens. We'll start with that, sorry. <laughs> uh, but I have a couple new to me pen shops that I'm gonna show you here in just a bit. Uh, this order is from Crystal Trays. They're located in Canada. And I ordered this a little while back. <laughs> it can take a little while to ship to the US, but it always arrives. So um, they have some, I think it's called Gemtac. I'm pretty sure is what they call theirs. Um, again, I like to just work with all kinds of different putties and waxes and wax alternatives with my diamond paintings. Cause I'm very much like a mood person. I'm like, I just wanna work with whatever strikes my fancy. <laughs> so she included a cute flower. Again, I, I like to like re-gift these flowers. So I always save them. So yes, we have some gem tack here, but first let me take a quick look. Thank you for your order from Crystal. Yeah, this is Crystal's trays. I think this is my invoice. So I should make sure there's nothing tucked in here I want to mention. All right. So I got three different kinds of gem tack and two of them were super sticky and one was just regular gem tack. Now, um, the galactic grape I thought was really fun because it has the sparkles in it. And um, you can use this. I think you can just scrape it. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, that smells so, 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 so good. Oh, this is a super sticky gem wax. This is not gem tack, this is gem wax. I have not tried their wax before. I have just tried their gem tack, which is a putty. So the gem wax is new to me. I will totally use this in a whip and chat soon. I'll probably use this in my single placer. And so you guys can see this in action. And then I got the super sticky gem tack. So I have regular gem tack and super sticky. I got the super sticky in coconut lime verbena because I'm a child of the 90s at Bath and Body Works. But um, this is more of like a putty. Yup, smells exactly like the coconut lime verbena scent from uh, Bath and Body Works. So you can use this just like any other putty. It is a different texture from some of the other putties I've worked with. I tend to find that to be the case is even if there are multiple people that do scented putties, some of them have different textures and react differently to different temperatures and climates and stuff. So it's worth trying multiple ones. And this one's marshmallow. Just like I said, I love s'mores. Marshmallow is kind of included. This is regular gem tack. It has a slightly different texture than the super sticky. It just smells amazing, but do not eat. 
actually smells a tiny bit like Play-Doh. <laughs> so I will be adding these different putties and waxes into my rotation just to be continuing to try out a variety of new ones and stuff like that. So yay. <laughs> All right. The rest of what I have is pen mail, which by the way, thanks again, Crystal, for making such fun and new like diamond painting products to try out. Um, the first two I'm going to show you are from new to me pen shops. This one in particular has been recommended to me several times. This one's from Norse Alchemist. I've been following along on their shop for a little while and um, was kind of just waiting to see like when there was a pen that really, really grabbed my attention because I've tried to just generally be a little bit pickier when it comes to when I buy pens because if you've been around a little while, you know that I have a lot and I'm trying, trying, trying to exercise like just a modicum of self-control. But um, this one, of course, caught my eye. And like I said, I've been hearing so much about this shop. I was like, well, obviously I need to try them. <laughs> this one immediately caught my eye. So it was packed in this box and then also wrapped as well. So let's take a look. Not doing any damage here and see this is one of the reasons that i ask you guys to recommend shops to me because there are ones that i otherwise might not have heard of and so i'm really excited that i get a new a new, new shop to try out so ooh, you see those florals peeking out <laughs> did i i don't know did they normally include tips i'll have to double check i really really don't want to to cut this a little bit more. I appreciate the care it was packaged with. I just want to make sure I'm only cutting the top layer. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Wow, that is so gorgeous. I love the turning so much and I love, love, love a good hybrid pen and this totally fits the bill. Now, I do not remember if I decided to like forego tips, like if that was an option, um, but I have plenty of extra, so it's not a big deal for me. This is beautiful. It's really lightweight on this end where the wood is and it's polished really beautifully. And I think that the wood and these flowers just go so, 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 so well together. I love, love, love that. Absolutely beautiful. So this is from Norse Alchemist. I'll be sure to link to their Etsy shop and they also have a Facebook group. So you'll get to see um, pens. I think they drop in the Facebook group as well as um, in their Etsy shop. So yay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much again for recommending that shop. Uh, this next package is a pen from Artsy Twin Studio on Etsy. This is one that my friend Jamie and Jacqueline had told me about. And I think they're more known for their mermaid pens, but this one really caught my eye. And I'll show you why more in just a moment. But here's all their socials. That's a really cute branding. This particular pen gave me major, major 90s vibes. I was like, I really want to try this out. And I think they said that it was kind of like a mini, more of like a mini size pen. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. So look at how beautiful this is. So it is very small. I'm not mad. It's so pretty. Look at the detail on that. I love the colors. This kind of gives me Lisa Frank vibes and I really, really love it. So I love getting to try out a new shop that's doing something different. This is so lightweight. I'm so curious to try diamond painting with it because I wonder if it's just gonna feel like diamond painting with nothing, but like in a good way. And it's beautiful to look at. So again, this is from Artsy, the Artsy Twin Studio. They have some really, really unique pens in their shop. So be sure to favorite their shop though, because I feel like sometimes they, they sell out and it takes them a bit to restock, but that's really okay because you're running a small shop, like you're usually just running that by yourself. <laughs> like you've got a life and stuff. So I totally get it. I, no rush for anything from me. <laughs> uh, so I have two packages left and I believe both have pens in them. <laughs> and I think that they both have been sitting, oh my gosh, one of them is dated the end of May. And this one is, oh, this one says it's dated the end of June. Um, wow, this other one over here, this last one I'll be doing. <laughs> I don't even remember what's in that one because literally the shipping date on the label is May 31st. Wow. Life has been busy, you guys. But this one, this one in particular, this one is 
from Laysen, Laysen Lathe Works. Handmade diamond painting pens and ink pens. Um, be sure to follow them on Facebook and Instagram. And then of course on Etsy, but often they post on Facebook when they've uh, done a drop in their Etsy shop and it doesn't seem to be like consistently a specific time or anything. So, oh my gosh, look at these pretty pens. I'd forgotten that I got two. Okay. Yeah. They dropped multiple. And oh, there's a bunch of different tips in here. That's, that's convenient. So I have lots to choose from singles and uh, multiple multi-placers. Um, but these, this one already has singles in it. So, okay, you guys, I couldn't resist either of these. This one has like a pearlescent effect and I thought it was so beautiful. Like look at the shimmer and shine in there. And then the colors in this one, just for calling my name, the different pastels, the pinks and purples and blues. Got a little tape on the end of my finger there. <laughs> but anyway, um, I haven't bought from Lace and Lathe Works in a while. And so I was um, really, really happy when I saw, when I caught one of their drops right when it happened. I really, really liked the look of both of these. I think this is also like a shopping therapy day. So um, yay, so a couple new pens from Lace and Lathe Works. And then last but not least over here, I have a package from Black Wolf Woodworks. But let me just really quickly, I'm gonna shift this stuff so that you can see more of it. And I'm making a little bit less of a mess here. Um, and yeah, so. We'll get to this last pen. All right. So this last package, like I said, is from Black Wolf Woodworks. This is the one that's been sitting since the end of May. <laughs> um, yeah, whoops. <laughs> so it'll be like Christmas because I don't even remember what's in here. But you guys, there are so many incredible pen turners out here. Go give them a follow. They're doing some amazing things. Um, the tips are packaged separately for this one as well. Here's their business card. James Clevenger is the owner and there's their shop info and their socials. They also make some really beautiful handcrafted goods that are not diamond painting pens, but I love their pens. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, that's right. This is gonna be perfect for fall. So this is a hybrid and I love an asymmetrical hybrid so much. I loved the wood in this one that we have like different colors going on and just the coppers and oranges and a little bit of burgundy going on in there. Isn't this gonna be so perfect for fall? I love that there's just a little hint of it down here. Love, love, love. And I love how unique every single Turner's pen turning style is. Like, and I love all of them. I'm like, as long as it's ergonomic, I'm happy camper and all of these pens look amazing. So yay, um, Black Wolf Woodworks makes some of my really favorite pens. They don't do drops quite as often as some other drop shops do. Um, it's a little less predictable, but I follow their Facebook group and follow them on Etsy so that I can make sure I'm staying up to date with them. You guys, this was today's small shop haul. I really, really enjoyed getting to share it with you all and I hope you had fun as well. Thank you so much to those of you that recommend small shops for me to try out. I love, love, love getting to discover new small shops in the community and getting to support small business owners. Again, a lot of small businesses are struggling out there right now. So um, if you don't mind, you guys, take a look down below at the different um, social media and uh, shops that I've linked so that you can give them a favorite, give them a follow. And if you're able to support them by making a purchase, that would be wonderful. <laughs> so um, small shop owners, thanks for doing what you do. I know often it can be a really, really incredibly difficult job and really demanding. Um, and you guys remember to be kind to our small shop owners out there, please, 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 please. Again, let me know if you own a small shop or know of one that you haven't seen me try out that you think I'd enjoy. I would be more than happy to check it out. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me for this week's small shop haul or this month's small shop haul. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing more with you soon. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and had fun, feel free to give it a thumbs up before you head out. And of course, if you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots and lots more diamond painting content from me, I would love to have you. Feel free to subscribe. All right, my friends, have an amazing rest of your week. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.